Guys, good morning, good afternoon. How are we? We are at a very special place right now. I don't know if you recognize this building. We are at the Weatherby headquarters here in Sheridan, Wyoming. We have been working on a special project that we are gonna release to you guys today. So we're gonna go inside, meet Kevin, the marketing manager of Weatherby, and we're gonna show you what we've been working on. We've been spending a lot of time on this for the last couple months. We're excited, we think you're gonna be really excited. So let's go see Kevin. My dudes. Hey. What's up, Luke? What's up? What's up, buddy? Good to see you. Thanks for coming down. Yeah, thanks for having us. And yeah, we got some pretty cool stuff in store. I'm excited. I'm excited to show these guys what we've been working on. You ready to see it? I'm ready to see Let's it. Check it Let's out. Do this. All right. So guys, we are here. We're in the, uh, is this like the main conference center of Weatherby headquarters? And this is where all the magic happens, except for building and selling and all the great planning. All the great, all the great decisions come right here. Right here. Right. Correct. So guys, we are with, we'll start here, Luke, who is marketing. Obviously, Adam Weatherby, you guys know him. CEO, owner, Weatherby. And then we have Kevin, marketing manager. And we are gonna show you guys what we've been working on for the last two months. Yeah, yeah. Two, months. two, three months. Yeah. So a lot of decisions had to go into this. Um, we think we made all the right decisions. And I, what, what we tried to do is create the very best Weatherby Vanguard we could and to offer it to you guys to purchase it. So let's go through what we decided on. And yeah. We yeah, I think the first place we started was stock cover. Uh, you guys are pretty particular on what you want uh, when it came to style. And I want to say we started out with some sponge pattern. To like begin with, we sent that first. I think this was the one. first option, which was a dark gray base, black sponge, and uh, green. We went through quite a few colors. Obviously, we've got a lighter tan. So we went uh, through all the options. Obviously, we started with a polymer stock. Um, it's really a baseline for Vanguard. And it's really, really accurate and effective. Um, and originally, you were talking about the new gray, like gray color, and then one of our stocks that we always have had in the Weatherby line is a black base with a gray web. Yeah. And you see it across both lines, both Mark V's and Vanguard's. When I see this stock, I just think of Weatherby. Like, he hasn't been off on this for quite a long time, right? Long time. Under Hacking Mark, he was your number one best-selling Mark V for a couple decades. It's super good looking. It's, it's black with the gray webbing. webbing. And so we, we wanted to come out with a gray gun, some, some sort of gray, silver type gun. Um, to kind of match actually the first light new ash color they came out with this year. Sure. And so we ran through a couple different colors, but our idea, can I show them? Yeah, let's do it. So this is the one we finally decided on. And if you look at it closely, it's actually just like the black with the gray webbing, but it's reversed. So it's gray with the black webbing. And when they get, these guys put this together and sent us the pictures, we all fell in love with it. Very simple, but very clean looking. I think we went through four variations of base gray. We think the right gray. Yeah. Before we felt like we had the right lightness or darkness with the gray webbing. If we went too dark on the gray and we threw the black webbing on it, it looked real dark. What's really neat is part of our move to Wyoming <clears throat> really has helped in this development of both, as we're going to see in the Cerakote colors and the stock painting, and that we really developed a really good paint team here. Yeah. So they're mixing colors and the guys out on the shop floor love to mix together. We mix this, we mix this. And so I mean, from a logistics standpoint, it's like, okay, guys, we've got too many colors. Uh, but it's been really fun to see the creativity and coming up with a lot of them were maybe even naming, you know, whether it be gray or this or that. And so yeah. I think this was kind of part of that type sure. of thing, too. Did we just name this whether it be gray? No, nope. okay. but we did not. No. Is that taken? Yeah, that is taken. <laughs> Can we think of a name for this later? Hush gray. Hush gray? Okay, better. Nail it. I'm okay with that. So after we did the stock, we obviously wanted to look at barrel actions. Uh, and really, we start out with two options. You go non-fluted, which you've got, um, you know, your non-fluted barrel. Yep. Um, or you go fluted. So obviously, you guys went fluted. Fluted. Uh, weight savings, uh, pretty much the primary. Yeah. The weight savings, I mean, 
there's, uh, you know, in addition, like with cooling, it can help a little bit because it adds surface area to it. Um, and then really aesthetics. I mean, most people, just to be honest, like there's a lot of things about it that it maybe does help. They say it helps with the rigidity of the barrel, this, that, and the other, but the number one thing is people are like, yeah, it just looks it good. It looks good. It looks yeah. cool. And that's important. I agree with that. Yeah. yeah. So we've got a fluted barrel, and then what was important to you guys also was how we finished out the end of the muzzle. So on every Hush Vanguard, you're going to find a half 28 thread on the end. Um, and also we're including both the thread protector that's flush fit, as you can see when we tighten this all the way down, it's as seamless as it gets. Yeah, you can't even tell there's anything on there. Yeah. It, but it also comes with brake. Right. So you're going to get a muzzle brake, AccuBrake ST is what we call it, slimline. Mainly because Casey doesn't like recoil. It's I don't like recoil, I'll be honest. honest. <laughs> like, it's not like this. <laughs> I mean, if you could shoot the same gun and have less recoil. Mm -hmm. So you liked the gray, and then you guys wanted to go black. Yeah, I think the accents of the black webbing just, I mean, makes sense to put a black action barrel and everything on there. Yeah, and it's important to note that it's not blue. No. That this is a graphite black Cerakote on all metal work. So it's going to be weather resistant that yeah. way. So. Yeah, corrosion exactly. resistant yeah. on all metal work. So huge benefits there. And then, of course, to top it off, you're talking floor plates. Floor plates. So guys we ran through, Logan designed three different floor plates up, and there were some that I liked more than others, and same with the other guys, but we honestly came down to the decision of what we call the deadhead, because we did a poll on Instagram, and 85% of everyone that voted wanted the deadhead. So we're gonna go with the deadhead option on the gun. No There's matter what you like or anybody else does, because it's all about the people that took it. It's all about people. You gotta give the people what they want. So on your first one you did in 2017, you offered a 300 weather bay. Yep, that's the only one we offered. So yet. now we're going to expand that out. And we're um, doing five, right? We're doing five. So we're doing 6.5 Creedmoor, 6.5 300, 7 millimeter red mag, 300 weather bay. And a 7 weather bay. And a 7 weather bay. Yeah. Awesome. So we've really covered the board on offerings. If someone doesn't want to shoot a 30, they can shoot a 6.5. Either the fastest or the... Yeah. You know, the and Creedmoor. For me, Three of, my, my, three of my most favorite weathering cartridges were including 257, 6.5, 300, and the 300 weather sure. which is awesome. So you, they have a wide range, like the 257 is a great deer antelope gun, the 300 is a great elk, deer gun, everything in between. Sure. Well, should we show them the finish again? Let's do it. Okay. So guys, those are all the decisions that we had to put into making this gun. Uh, like we said, we went back and forth about every one of these decisions, but we think you're going to like the gun. Guys, we are so excited to announce this collaboration with Weatherby on this custom Weatherby Hush Rifle. It's been a lot of fun working with Weatherby over the years, and this project was a ton of fun to build a rifle that we feel fits our brand and will be a great rifle for all of you guys. All right, so a couple things about this specific Weatherby Hush Edition rifle. Number one, it's on the Vanguard platform, so it's super affordable and it's a rifle that's gonna last a long time. This time around, uh, we are able to offer it in a variety of calibers. Uh, we're gonna have the 257 Weatherby. We will have the 6.5 Creedmoor, very popular rifle. The 6.5 300 Weatherby, the 7mm Remington Mag, and then to round it out, which is what this rifle is, is gonna be the 300 Weatherby Mag. So those calibers are gonna give you guys a wide selection to choose from. Last time we did this a few years ago with Weatherby, we can only pick one caliber. And then we've uh, decked it out in a custom new colorway that is not available anywhere else on Weatherby.com. Com. So it has kind of an ash gray uh, base with the black spider webbing, completely blacked out, seracoded barrel. You've got your muzzle brake, and then the entire action and bolt of the gun is all blacked out in seracote. And then one of the coolest things is the custom hush floor plate, which is uh, the Firebolt deadhead design that we decided to put on this particular one. So it is now available. Weatherby.com, you can go check it out and uh, let us know what you think. Just in time for rifle season, but. Like Eric said, we love the partnership with Weatherby and uh, can't wait to be able to offer this up to all you guys.